Rawr. 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 Hey guys, Mr. Mac here with another art lesson, and today we're going to be making this cool fold out monster. It's really easy, very simple. You can see you just need a bit of paper and some drawing and colouring equipment. I use pens for my purple monster over there, but I'm going to use pencils, colour pencils, for the example. Just so you can see, it doesn't really matter, you can use either. So let's get started. You need a strip of paper. This is just, it was just a piece of A4 paper. I just trimmed a strip off the end about 10 centimetres wide. Uh, it doesn't even have to be that neat. And then I'm just going to fold it down from the top in half. And then I'm just going to fold that bit that I've just folded down back up again so that it overlaps. How much of an overlap it does depends on how big it's going to be when it folds out. Uh, as in how big the mouth section is going to be. Um, on this one I've just done a small mouth. On this one you see I've folded it much more so it's going to have a much bigger mouth. It's completely up to you. Adults or older kids, if you're helping someone smaller do this, um, you might just need to help them with this stage. The rest of it they should be able to do by themselves. So let's start drawing. Just make sure it's really nice and well creased. And then I tend to just start with a circle or an oval, some kind of shape that overlaps that central fold line. Because um, you want to draw the top half of the head with like the nose and the eyes and the ears and stuff on that top section, but you want it to match up with the bottom section. So if you start it off all folded up together, and then you can start thinking about what you want to do. You can see here I drew sort of like an egg shape. And then I decided actually maybe I'll have the bottom section be like a sort of slimy, oozy, snaily monster thing. Um, and actually I then developed that a bit further and I started drawing on some tentacles and things, you'll see in a minute. It just means then um, if those two sections line up neatly, it'll help um, make the effect a bit more convincing at the end when you go to open it up. If you don't want a slimy monster, obviously you can draw feet at the bottom or whatever you like really. If you're going to do arms or anything, I do them in either the top section or the bottom section. Uh, if you do them coming from the top and they overlap into the bottom section, then obviously when you open it up you're going to have to extend those, but you could do that. Um, I'll let you work out the intricacies of how you do that because I haven't shown you how to do that in this video. So I'm just adding some eyes at the top, I went for some sort of alien eyes on sticks, snail like things. Right, let's speed this up. So, got some pupils in there. Uh, went for the sort of cat pupils. And then, um, so I added a little nose, decided to put some little detail lines in, and then thought, actually, let's make that into a beak. That'd be an interesting thing to have. So, drew a little beak at the top, a little beak at the bottom. So, each half of the beak is in the separate half, yeah? That's important, because, uh, you need the, the gap between the top lip and the bottom lip, or the top beak and the bottom beak, to be exactly where that join line is. Uh, and then that will help the effect work better in a minute. I added a few more tentacles on the bottom just for some detail, but you don't need to add too much, because uh, the most interesting bit is what, what you can draw in the middle. So, then you can open it up, and all you need to do is you need to connect those lines down from inside the mouth. I've just gone in slightly, just to offset it slightly, just so that the the beak comes out slightly wider than the actual mouth itself, just to give it a bit of depth. Um, but there you go, simple as that. And then you can draw your teeth in, or you can draw, I've just drawn some like slimy, oozy mess, really, in this bit. But yeah, some big teeth, um, you could put some big tonsils in it, like I did in the, um, the purple monster you saw at the beginning. Anything you like, really. You just want it to look different from how it started, so when you first show it to someone they think oh that's a nice little monster and then they see it open and it's like oh that's gross or whatever effect you're going for it's all good so get all your details in there draw it out and then we're going to start coloring it i'm basically just going to color it in and then outline it now so this is a good point if you're trying to do this at the same time you're following along with the video now's a good time to just pause get yourself caught up with your drawing and then you can watch this as you go. 
So I'm just colouring it in, I went for some greens, I've tried to do a bit of shading with the colour pencils. If you're using colour pens, don't worry too much about shading, you know, it's much harder to shade with pens. Um, but you do get that nice bright colour with the pen, so it's sort of a, it's a balance as to which one you prefer. I quite like colour pencils every now and again, because you can get a good bit of um, shadows and highlights, and you can do some nice blending as well, especially if you've got decent colour pencils. So you'll notice I use yellow to try and highlight the green there, uh, which works alright actually. Um, the white pencil didn't really show up very well. The white is quite useful for blending, it'll help you do some nice smooth transitions and get those colours smoothed out nicely. Um, but yeah, a nice bit of yellow on the green worked well there. Then you can see I've just started outlining everything with a pen, also the bits I really want to be black I've got with a pen as well, right in the middle. Uh, and that is about it. Let's just check it works. So there's our friendly, beaky, tentacle alien pal. And then all of a sudden, bleh, gross. Yeah, super. That works well. So you can just see a hint of the purple when it's folded up. You can't really see what's in there until it opens up and then bleh, you get the whole surprise. You can see how much the pen makes a big difference, doesn't it? Just to give that a nice outline. Definitely worth doing. So if you have a go at this, send it to me as always. Give me an email, I'll put it on um, the usual places. Hope you enjoy it. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.